Hello, Scorpio. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of October 18th through the 24th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, Scorpio, take what resonates, leave the rest. These are very general readings. And I am working with the Jack-O-Lantern tarot deck for this week's reading. So let's take a look at what's going on for the week ahead. First card, the Four of Cups. Next, the Queen of Wands. And the Eight of Wands. Your overall energy for the week ahead is the Queen of Cups. Okay, we'll get to your Oracle cards in just a little bit. But Scorpio, the first message that I'm picking up is a very stuck energy. You're not moving. You're kind of just very comfortable right where you're at, especially at this time, Scorpio. But that seems to be like it's going to end very soon. So if you're just resting up a bit, things are going to be taking a turn very shortly. So starting with your first card here, you have the Four of Cups. This is your anchor card for the reading. It kind of sets the tone for the week ahead. And it's that number four energy is what I was picking up. It's a very complacent, very comfortable. I don't want to move. I don't want to look at anything, do anything. It's very much like a melancholy kind of energy. And looking here, you're seeing what is like a skeleton hand coming out, presenting some kind of opportunity something for you to like sink your teeth into to focus on and you just couldn't be bothered now the bird sitting on this fellow's shoulder could be one of two things it could be waiting for you to expire or it could be representing that there's a message coming in that you're really not paying attention now, in the back of the card here, look at everything. We've got the white clouds. We've got uh, lots of prosperity back here, success. There is a castle over here, if it would focus. That's just not going to focus. Okay, there's a castle back there. So this could be wealth, success, happiness, but you're stuck here quite comfortable in what could be spending time with yourself, with your own thoughts, and just existing with these same three cups for you to look at. So this kind of sets the tone for the whole week where you're really not doing much of anything. And that's how you feel now. You're feeling this way. And this is Cancer's card and energy where it can be at times be a very cautious, needy, moody kind of energy. But this card's ruled by the moon. You can't forget that. It's an indication that like what's going on in the background here, you're not seeing it because it's behind you. The moon represents secrets, things that are going on behind the scenes, things that you can't see that you're unaware of. But it's your own fault here, Scorpio, because you're not even paying attention to what spirit, the divine, is bringing into you. It's an opportunity. And for some Scorpios, this could possibly be in regards to love. This could be love wanting to come in, but look at the the tree here. Look at the eyes on the trunk of this tree and they actually look like heart shapes. Yeah, just 
Yeah, heart shapes. That's what I'm picking up. So this is a very stagnant energy, almost like a victim mentality, just very unsatisfied, very uninterested, just totally uninterested in anything, even what's being presented to you. The other thing is, it looks like there's only like two leaves left on this tree. So what I'm picking up is this is going to be your last chance. So certainly there is a number of things that could have put you in this kind of mood. It could be your job or not having one. It could be a relationship or not having one. <laughs> it could be where you live. It could be going to school and not interested in what you started studying. So this number four energy is going to keep you stuck all week long unless something is done about it. Now, your next card here is the Queen of Wands. Very fiery energy. This is either an Aries or a Leo individual that's probably going to come in this week and notice how you're feeling. This could be a friend, your partner, someone you work with, your boss. The Queen of Wands is very, just very fiery, a charismatic, spiritual queen. And one of the best things that this queen is noted for specifically is seeing the talents, the gifts that an individual has. And often she sees that and the potential of where it could go in the person even before they do. She's really got an extra high crown on this card. So this is somebody that's pretty important in your life. Her sunflower here actually looks like a mask. So sometimes you see her as she is and sometimes you don't. So sometimes you see one side of her, but there might be another that's hidden. Somebody that is successful somebody that's wealthy, somebody that has such a strong life force. And I'm really paying attention to these three birds high up in the sky. This might be somebody that is maybe for the third time, maybe talking to you, Scorpio, or possibly like the third time they're crossing your path. That phrase three's the charm, like boom, all of a sudden, that's what it took the third time. So this queen of wands showing up this week, again, a fire sign, is someone who's going to take notice of you. And this is somebody who's just noticing your gifts and talents. Because if you look at this individual here on this card, if I could get it to, there we go. This is somebody who has gifts and talents. Look at, there's a wizard hat here. There's a, a, a cup. This is somebody that, and, and this is how you're feeling, like you lost faith in yourself. Something's making you feel this way. And the Queen of Wands might be crossing your path this week, might be lifting you up, raising your vibration. And definitely the Queen of Wands can be somebody in such a high position. So it could be that she's offering, making an offering, like a position or job, something of that nature. She's presenting you and, and lifting you up out of, this energy presenting you with an option now next you have the queen or excuse me the eight of wands i was going to say the queen of wands again now this is a really interesting eight of wands in this deck you can see look closely you can see all these butterflies in different stages you've got the caterpillar You've got where it's uh, somewhat developed and then you've got the fully 
transformed butterfly. Now, in general, the Eight of Wands is something is going to be happening very quickly, Scorpio. Something is going to go from maybe like the caterpillar stage all the way to transforming into the butterfly. Something that normally takes a certain amount of time is going to go very quickly. So just quickly being transformed all the way to that emerging butterfly. So this could be success coming in. This could be money coming in. This is progress. Can also mean that some of you might be traveling. This could be a message coming in in some form of communication. This is actually Sagittarius's card and energy. So it's a very optimistic, enthusiastic, a very adventurous, unpredictable type of energy. This is an energy that once it's in motion, it can't be stopped. And with this being ruled by Mercury, certainly can have something to do with communication. This could be a message coming in, an email, a phone call, something of that nature. It can certainly pertain to business and also to traveling. The number eight energy of this card is abundance. So it's a very fast moving but positive energy coming in where you're not going to be able to stay put as in this Four of Cups energy. And this could absolutely be something that the Queen of Wands got started for you. She could have put something in motion and that creates this very fiery, quick pace results. So the Eight of Wands could be information involving maybe a job if you've been looking to get a job or changing jobs. It could be in regards to moving house, and that might also tie into possibly a new job. And things could happen very quickly where you accept the job, you move, and within a week you're gone. And you're in your new digs and your new job position. It possibly can be in regards to romance, Scorpio. Could be that everything's been a little ho-hum and maybe some advice from this Queen of Wands escalates or possibly gives you advice on reigniting the passion, maybe in your current relationship. But it can also be that the Queen of Wands introduces you to someone and you really hit, hit it off. But there is originally something here on your Four of Cups card, some kind of opportunity. Something's trying to come in, but you're just not paying attention. Now, your overall energy for the week ahead is the Queen of Cups. This is all about your perception, how you look at things or how you don't see things. It's got a lot to do with trusting your intuition, listening to your intuition. What's it saying to you this week, Scorpio? Now, this is another queen with a very, a, a very uh, tall hat, a crown that she's wearing. So someone important. Now the Queen of Cups, she's got an extra large cup here. Always has this cup right in front of her. That is her connection with the divine. And she is second only to the high priestess in her psychic abilities. And really looking at her throne here, it's a wise owl. And if you look at what she's wearing, look at those. It's like little fox slippers. So the overall energy for your week ahead, what's around you that you may not be noticing, is all in regards to having your wits about you, trusting your intuition, seeing what's in front of you, being wise to really tap into your intuition this week because you're missing something, Scorpio. And you're missing what's being presented here with your Four of Cups. And you might make a huge mistake and miss out on whatever the Eight of Wands is bringing in this week, Scorpio. So Queen of Cups being your overall energy is a huge message to really trust your instincts, your intuition. Not only have your third eye open, have your actual 
eyes open. Now, your numerology here for your tarot cards is number 13, which reduces to four. So again, with that four energy, stagnant, stuck. But in this case, in your numerology, what that's indicating is about building a strong foundation for the future. It also represents stability, security, strong foundations, things that are solid. And it can be referencing strong relationships. It can be referencing a good job, career, money coming in, financial security. Now, let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides are suggesting for the week ahead. Tourmaline. And I do have one of mine, black tourmaline. Well, the reason that the tourmaline or black tourmaline crystal is being suggested for you, Scorpio, specifically to eliminate this stuck and stagnant energy that seems to be surrounding you, especially with your anchor card here. So this will help your root chakra, your base. Number four has to do with that base, that root chakra. So an indication here with this crystal, with this card's message, is to focus on getting rid of any old stagnant or negative energy from both your physical body, your home and work environments. And you can do this by smudging, either with a sage stick, you can do it with a sage spray or incense, or even just a very strong intention, asking for all the negativity to be removed and that you wanna replace it with clean, clear, white light and positive energy. Now, this black tourmaline crystal helps you to release stress from your body and mind. It helps you to remain positive, no matter what the circumstances in your life. It's going to help you clear out and protect you from any further stagnant, stuck, negative energy from coming in. Now, let's take a look at your Halloween Oracle card message for the week ahead. And you received trick or treat. <laughs> well, the card says mischief and play. And we all know on Halloween what trick or treating is all about. An ancient custom originally used to fool the spirits that walk the earth on Halloween, especially the spirits that might want to harm the humans. So dressing up similar to them, kept us safe. But one of the reasons this card is showing up, Scorpio, is to introduce more play, more fun into your life. Sometimes all work, no play, keeps you thinking too seriously about life in general, and there needs to be a balance between work and play. It's a good way to alleviate stress, break up this Four of Cups energy, so your Oracle card message this week is simply telling you to go out and have some fun. So Scorpio, for the week ahead, the message here from the Queen of Cups, your overall energy for the week ahead is certainly to pay attention to what your instincts, your intuition is telling you. Pay attention to your inner guiding voice. As your Four of Cups energy, you're not seeing an opportunity that's actually being presented to you. And the Queen of Wands is someone coming in this week that I feel is either a friend, a partner, a neighbor, a co-worker, a boss. This is going to be a Leo or an Aries fire sign going to pull you out of feeling this way. They know what you're capable of. And it might be this queen that's commanding this Eight of Wands to come into play this week. Eight of Wands is a very fast energy. Something is going to be coming in. It's going to pull you out of this Four of Cups energy. Something that's going to create a very fir firm like foundation for your future. So could possibly be a job in general if you've been looking for work or it could be a new position. 
one that is like more money, more exciting, challenging. Could also be that, that the Queen of Wands is introducing you to someone else and the relationship really takes off. Your angels and guides are suggesting to meditate with the black tourmaline crystal this week to help clear out that stagnant energy so you could have new, fresh, positive energy, giving it room for it to come in. And your Halloween Oracle card message is trick or treat, an indication for you to go out and have some fun, Scorpio. All work and no play creates how this poor fellow looks like on the Four of Cups card. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And if you're interested in a private tarot card reading, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance to my Scorpio family.